Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be going through all of the kill streaks that are currently available in Modern Warfare 2. So for each one we'll take a look at the kill streak in the kill streak menu and then we'll go into a match and see what that looks like in game. So starting off the very first kill streak is the UAV. Uh, this takes four kills to activate or if you turn on score streaks you need a score of 500 and if we look at the description you can see it's a UAV recon ship that reveals enemy locations on the minimap. So now we'll go into an actual match and see what that looks like in game. All right, so now we're in game and we've earned a UAV, so we can go ahead and call that in. Uh, once that's activated, you'll notice that both on your mini map as well as your main map, it's doing a scan and will show the locations of enemies um, as these red dots here. Uh, the other aspect of this is that if players fire their weapon while the UAV is active without a suppressor, um, you can see here it'll show their location in real time. Um, and then finally, uh, when it's active, I don't know if we'll be able to see it, but there will be a plane UAV flying around in the sky, uh, and that can be shot down as well. Next is the bomb drone. Uh, this also takes four kills to activate, or if you turn on score streaks, it's a score of 500 as well. And for this one, it is a remote-controlled drone with an attached C4 charge. Now let's use this in-game, so we'll activate our bomb drone kill streak, and this will pull out a drone that we can now fly around. Uh, you'll notice all of the controls on the bottom of the screen there. Uh, also take note of the health and the battery, so you do have a time limit. You can go up and down depending on if you're PC or controller. Um, so I can descend here, you can find enemy players, uh, you can fly up to them. Uh, if you run into them, it's not going to do anything, you do need to detonate it. So you can get up to, uh, right up in their face, uh, and then detonate, and that will probably target. take care of them. If you're on the receiving end of this, uh, this is what it looks like. So this is the an enemy bomb drone flying here. So uh, if you do see this and you're quick enough, you can shoot it. And that'll take, as you can see, it, it takes a couple shots, but uh, you can shoot them down fairly easily. Moving on to the counter UAV. Uh, this is a kill streak that requires either five kills or a score of 625. And this is a drone that will scramble all of the enemies' mini maps. Now taking a look at what the counter UAV looks like in game, uh, we can go ahead and activate that now. So once this is launched, it will scramble both the mini map and the main map of the enemy players. Uh, like the UAV, it's going to be an actual drone that's flying around the map. I don't know if we can see it here, um, but uh, if you do spot that, it'll be able to be shot down uh, and you can do deactivate it just like the UAV as well. So looking at it from the perspective of when an enemy uses a counter UAV, so you can see the actual effects of that, uh, we'll have them call one in here real quick. Um, so now you can see that my minimap is all scrambled, uh, and like the name applies, it can counter a UAV if you have one of those active. Um, and then uh, if we can find the drone here, um, it'll be flying around. Uh, let's see if we can find it. There it is. So if you see this guy flying around, you can then destroy that, and then that'll uh, deactivate the counter UAV. The next five kill or score of 625 kill streak is the cluster mine, and this is where you throw a device that launches a cluster of small mines within the immediate area. Now activating this in game, uh, you can see we pull out this little device that we can throw on the ground anywhere we want. So we'll pick this spot here, and you can see it spits out um, four uh, little mines around the general area. Um, they are fairly weak, so if we bring this guy up forward here, you can see that didn't kill him. Uh, he kind of has to hit a second one for it to, to kill them. So kind of disappointing in the fact that it's not sort of a one-hit kill. Um, and these will self-destruct after a couple minutes, um, but they'll, they'll hang around here until somebody runs into them. Wrapping up the final kill streak that requires either five kills or 625 score is the care package. And with this, you call in a random kill streak uh, care package to your location. So when you activate this in game, it's going to bring up a throwable marker. So you can throw that wherever you'd like, and that's going to indicate where the care package is going to drop. So that's going to take a couple seconds. Uh, you can see the, the smoke indicator here. There comes the drop here. So it's going to take a second to land. And then once that happens, you can come up to it. And then that's going to give you a random kill streak. So in this case, I got a precision airstrike. Moving on to the six kill group or a score of 750, we have the precision airstrike. And with this, you call in twin jets for a precision strike along the best available path. So looking at the precision airstrike in game, we'll go ahead and call that in. Uh, this will pull up a pair of binoculars and then you can click on the map where you want this to target. So we see this guy here, we can 
uh, bring it in here on the basketball court area. Uh, and depending on which direction they come from, there they come from. So, uh, you can see they do sort of a, a, a gunner run uh, on that area. Enemy precision airstrike, find cover. The cruise missile, which also requires six kills or a 750 score, uh, you control a long-range cruise missile with boost capabilities. Now looking at this in-game, uh, the cruise missile, kind of a classic Call of Duty kill streak. So once we call this in, we'll be able to control a missile from the sky. Uh, then there's also the ability to kind of turn on a booster jet that'll quickly reach a target if we find one. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we'll call that in. We can now control the missile. We've got uh, an enemy here. We can do the boost and then blow them up. And then wrapping up the six kill 750 group, we have mortar strike, and this will signal several waves of mortars to attack a location. When you use the mortar strike, that is going to bring up a laser that can be used to select where you want the mortar strike to take place. So we've got an enemy here, we can select that area on the map. Uh, this is going to be a fairly long kill streak, so we can watch all of the the waves here. So that's wave one, and then there'll be more coming. I think there's one more after this. So kind of four waves there. So it's it's a fairly long kill streak. Uh, let last quite a bit. Hostile mortar strike near your position. All right. So now we are in the seven kill group, or with score streaks that is 875. Uh, this has two kill streaks, the first of which is the sentry gun. Uh, this is an automated turret that scans for nearby enemies and fires incendiary based rounds. So now let's set this up in game. Uh, we'll pull out our sentry turret and it'll allow us to place it anywhere that we want on the map uh, within reason. And once we do that, it'll now sort of scan this area. We'll have a player come running by. You can see it tracks onto them and then we'll take them out. The other really cool thing about this is that you can go up to it and it'll allow you to pick it up. So if you want to move it to a different location, say uh, this location is no longer um, ideal. If, you want to, if you're playing objectives, you can move it to a different objective. And now we want to move it here. So now we can place it on a different spot of the map. So that's a really cool feature of this kill streak. If you're on the receiving end of this uh, and an enemy is using a sentry turret, this is about where I'm at right here, about the range. Uh, so if we peek up just a little bit more, it'll lock onto us there. So right around here is about how far, uh, in terms of distance, that they'll, it'll lock onto you. Uh, so you can destroy them. Um, ideally, you use something like a rocket launcher. I don't know if I'll be able to hit that or not. Um, maybe we can just shoot it here real quick. So there we, we we destroyed it. Um, it does have a battery, a battery I guess too. So it will deactivate after a couple minutes as well. And then the other seven kill 875 kill streak is the SAE, and this will call in a trio of jets to release aerial explosives onto a specified target. All right, so now we'll use the SAE, and once we do that, that's going to bring up a tablet, and we can use this to select anywhere on the map where we want this to take place. So we can actually select multiple spots with this one. So we'll uh, do these three areas. We've got an enemy in that Copy sort of that. general vicinity. So now we can ready. watch that get called in. So a uh, pretty powerful explosion, and you can use that in three different areas, which is pretty nice. Hostiles launch an SAE.
For the 8 kill or 1000 score kill streaks, we first have the VTOL jet, and this will release a pair of precision bombs before circling back and guarding a location of the player's choice. So with this one, this one has kind of two different aspects to it. So first, we can bring that up and select a location. So we've got an enemy here to bomb. So we'll bomb that location. Uh, and that'll bring in the VTOL jet um, somewhere. Here it comes. So we've got that, and then it'll stick around uh, if we can find it. So here it comes back. And now it's going to um, continue to patrol the area and uh, target enemies. So one thing you'll notice is that you can select to guard location. So we can hit that button and it's really loud. Uh, it's going to follow you around and kind of protect you as you move around the map. So now we're going to bring it over here. So anytime you want to move it, you can just... Uh, have it have it follow you wherever you want it to go and it'll as you see destroy enemies uh, as it patrols the area next on the list of eight kill 1000 score kill streaks is the overwatch helo uh, this is an escort helo that will watch over your position uh, and it will also ping nearby enemy locations before engaging them so when you call this in, uh, you'll have a helicopter. There it is. We'll fly to your location and we'll kind of escort you, follow you around. So you can see uh, as we move, it's going to follow us. And as it finds enemies, it'll ping them and then also attack them. So they just pinged an enemy and shot them down. So you can kind of run around the map. And as you do so, it's going to follow you around, uh, which is pretty nice. And you got a little cover here. So if there's enemies, you can kind of, you know, take cover and then ping enemies and then take them out uh, and then kind of do that until it until it flies away and then wrapping up the eight kill group we have the Wilson HS this is a remote controlled amphibious vehicle with auto sentry capabilities so once we activate this it will bring up Solid copy. this no little guy and <laughs> One issue with this is that that can happen. So if you run over yourself or back up, it will kill you. Uh, sometimes it spawns right on top of you, kind of what just happened. So that's kind of an issue. Um, but anyways, uh, once you have this activated, you can drive it around. It's got a gun that you can shoot. Uh, you can also put it in sentry mode. So now it will, as you can see, there's a guy nearby. So it just kind of is like a, a turret in sentry mode that'll sit there and kill enemies. Um, and then you can actually go back into it if you want to control it still. So uh, we've got the fuel on the bottom left corner, so I'm about halfway done. Uh, it is also amphibious, so it can go in the water and drive around in the water as well. So uh, this will you know, last about a minute or two. And uh, again, you can either choose to drive it around or you can put it in sentry mode and then just play like regular. If you see an enemy, Wilson, uh, you can destroy them, uh, preferably with things like rocket launchers and grenades and things like that, but you can shoot them as well. Uh, you can also use shock sticks uh, to kind of make it go crazy. Uh, so that can be an effective, very loud, uh, that can be an effective tool as well, but you can uh, just use, you know, grenades and shoot at it and things like that as well. It does take a, uh, a few bullets if you're going to be using your gun. but you can't destroy it, so. Moving on to the next group, which requires either 10 kills or with score streaks, it is a score of 1250. Uh, we have the Stealth Bomber, and this will call in a bomber that releases a large line of explosives along its path. For the Stealth Bomber, uh, this is a pretty massive uh, explosion that you can call in. So once we bring that up, again, it's gonna be this tablet type format. Um, you, can, you can see the controls for PC over on the left there. Uh, right click to rotate the path and then left click to dispatch where you want it to go So again, you can see that big long line. That's going to be the entire line of the bombing run So we could do this whole line here. We'll call that in And see what that looks like So you can see pretty massive uh, Explosion there basically take up that entire middle section of the map, which is pretty awesome. Hostile stealth bomber incoming. Now 
The next kill streak in this group is the Chopper Gunner, and this is where you can control an assault chopper armed with a turret and air to land missiles. So this is going to put you in the helicopter itself so you can control the firing. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, there'll be a little bit of a cutscene here real quick. And now we're in the chopper gunner flying around so you can zoom in, aim the gun. Uh, you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner you get eight uh, hydro rockets. So those are limited. It's kind of loud. Uh, those are limited so once you run out they're done. Uh, you do have unlimited uh, cannon rounds though. Uh, this indicator, that's me, that circle with the plus sign, and then if we can find a target. So this is indicating that there's an enemy there, but we don't have line of sight. Uh, once we get line of sight, so we can move around, we can actually control the helicopter. Uh, now that we have line of sight, uh, it's, a, it's a red diamond, we can shoot them. Uh, so that is the chopper gunner. And then wrapping up the 10 kill or score of 1250 kill streaks is the emergency airdrop. Um, this is like the care package kill streak. However, with this one, you call in three uh, random kill streak care packages uh, to your location. So as mentioned, just like the care package, you have this marker that you need to throw and that will uh, mark a spot for the helicopter to come in with the three care packages. And each will have a random kill streak that you can collect, so that should be coming here shortly. Uh, it does take a couple seconds, so you want to find sort of a quiet place or somewhere with cover to do this. Um, the important thing to call out with this is that if you are going to collect all three for yourself, um, you can be nice and you know maybe share that with your your, your teammates. But uh, if you collect all three, they're going to stack on top of each other, and I'll demonstrate that here. But if you collect uh, one, two, and three, you're gonna have to use them in reverse order. So three, two, and one. So uh, for example, we'll pick up this one. UAV we got a UAV. By. So I could use the UAV right now, but if I don't, and then I collect uh, number two. So now I have to use the precision airstrike before I use the UAV. And then if we get the third one, uh, I got the stealth bomber. So now I have to use the stealth bomber first before the other two. So uh, just keep that in mind. Now we're looking at the two kill streaks that require either 12 kills or a score of 1500. The first is the gunship, and this is a heavy assault gunship equipped with uh, laser tracking missiles along with the standard 40 millimeter and 25 millimeter cannons. So this is another kill streak where you're going to be controlling the, the aircraft itself. So we can call in the gunship and that'll actually put us in the gunship. So uh, first there's going to be this little cutscene. It's pretty cool that plays. And then after this, so now we're in the gunship, uh, very similar to the chopper gunner UI. Uh, you are this yellow circle, uh, and then the enemies will be highlighted with the red diamond. Um, on the fuel, uh, we've got that on the left side of the screen to let you know how much time you have left. Uh, in the upper right, you have night vision that you can turn on. You can also exit it if you're about to explode. Uh, and then the bottom right corner, that's where we have, we have two flares available and then the weapons. So we have three different weapons. We've got the rockets, uh, we've got the 40 millimeter, and then we've got the 25 millimeter. Missile so you can hold that button down to fire that. So uh, it does take some time to reload. So you can't just like spam rockets over and over again, but you can sort of cycle through them. And then as you get to the, the third 25 millimeter, by that time, the rockets have probably uh, refilled. So then you can kind of go through that cycle. And then for the other 12 kill or 1500 score kill streak, we have the advanced UAV. Uh, this is an untargetable orbital UAV that reveals the enemy's direction on the minimap uh, in real time. So this is going to be very similar to a standard UAV with uh, a couple major differences. So the first, we'll call this in, if we look at the map here, it gives you this directional input for the enemy so you can see the enemies facing that way. Um, if we have them turn around, you can see now that they're, they're turning around and looking around so you can see exactly where they're aiming, where they're looking. Uh, the other aspect of this is that it's untargetable in the sky. So like a UAV, you can shoot that down, but in this uh, advanced UAV, it's not targetable. So uh, that gives it a little bit more longevity, a little bit more defense. So it'll uh, last longer, hang around longer as well. And then at 15 kills or a score of 1,875, we have the Juggernaut. Uh, this is a Juggernaut assault gear delivered by Care Package. Uh, the minigun will also drop when the Juggernaut dies. So to activate the Juggernaut, uh, you do have to, uh, kind of like a care package, drop a marker, and then it'll deliver it to you. So we can go ahead and do that now. And a helicopter should be flying in shortly to bring us our Juggernaut. There it is. So that's kind of the first step. 
Uh, so keep that in mind if you're gonna use it. There's you kind of need to find a safe spot first. Uh, so now we can equip the gear, and the music kicks on, and we can run around as the juggernaut. So uh, we have this machine gun. Uh, you can toggle the music on or off if you're not into that. Uh, I think it's pretty awesome. But uh, so here you got this protective bodysuit, and then this pretty powerful uh, machine gun as well. So as mentioned, if you do die, it'll drop and uh, somebody can pick it up, but just to kind of demonstrate it there, uh, it's a pretty powerful weapon. And then just to add, uh, I mean, this basically is kind of a indefinite, infinite, long kill streak, uh, as long as you don't die. So there's no timer on this really. Uh, so you can have this for as long as you can survive basically. Uh, and then testing in the water, uh, you can go in the water and then jump back out so that's not going to Oh wait, actually. Oh, interesting. So uh So yeah, apparently if you go in the water, you maybe lose your gun. I wasn't aware that happened, but keep that in mind. If you come across an enemy juggernaut, uh, run away. <laughs> uh, but no, seriously, these guys take a ton of hits to take down. Uh, so just kind of, you're gonna have to throw whatever you have at it, preferably, you know, like rocket launchers, grenades, whatever you got. Um, one thing that's kind of funny is you can hear his music playing um, out of his headphones, if you can kind of hear that faintly. So uh, just to kind of show you, I'll just kind of start, you know, hitting this guy with everything I got just to see the, the health that he has. So, uh, you know, throw like a thermite on him. Do a rocket launcher. Do another rocket launcher and just peg him with LMG. So takes a ton of hits, uh, and then he also drops the the uh, mini gun too, which is cool. So you can pick that up as kind of your prize, uh, and you get 320 bullets with that. So there you go. All right, and as a grand finale, we've got the nuke, which you get after getting 30 kills in a row without dying. Uh, you don't have to equip this as a kill streak; it's just something that you get automatically. So I've got 29 kills right now. We'll get our 30th, uh, and then we'll take a look and see what that looks like. So there we go, and there we got the nuke. So now we can uh, equip that. Basically, this will just kill everybody and end the game. <laughs> so uh, we'll call that in here. And here it comes. That's the plane that's going to drop it. So, pretty awesome. All right, so that was all the kill streaks in Modern Warfare 2. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you later. Bye. The mission is complete. Well done.